Hey folks, and welcome to this latest video about Dfang, the easiest way for developers to deploy their containerized applications to AWS. So today I wanna to show you two things that are kinda of cool. There's a lot of reasons why you might wanna use a product like GitHub Codespaces or Gitpod. You wanna share configurations with other developers on your team, or perhaps you don't have the hardware required to run the project that you're working on. Or you might just want to try something out without having to install stuff on your local machine. Whatever the case may be, can be useful. So, we set up two projects for you. One is this GitHub Codespace project, where if you clone this and you create a code space, you'll get a nice environment with Dfang pre-installed. So it took a few minutes, but we got this built. And you can see here that if you run dfang, you've got dfang pre-installed. So one thing to keep in mind is that for this to work properly, you're going to have to do open in VS Code desktop. And the reason for that is that when we run our dfang login command, it expects to run on localhost. So if we hit continue here, and this will say refuse to connect, but if you go back, you'll see successfully logged in. So you should be good to go. And there we go. That means you are logged into dfang, and you can see your services are running from within a GitHub code space. Okay, now back in the repo, I'm just going to show you one last thing. The way GitHub code spaces work is they use the dev container spec. And so if you're using dev containers with VS Code locally or with any of the JetBrains IDEs that support dev containers, there's a couple others as well, like DevPod is a service that uses dev containers. You can add Defang to your dev container spec just by adding this line. That way, anyone who works on your project will have the Dfang CLI installed by default. Okay, now let's check out the Gitpod workspace. It's gonna be very similar to the GitHub code spaces, but the way you're gonna do it, you should probably clone this repo and add it to your own organization or profile. And then you can just copy the URL. So here I'm just doing the, the original. And you can go to Gitpod io and then add the hashtag and add the repo and you can go ahead and click continue and gitpod is going to build this workspace which you can see here has a custom gitpod docker file which installs the defang cli and uses this gitpod.yaml file to specify that we're using that Docker file to build the workspace. And here we are in Gitpod, and we can run Dfang. And so in here, similar to GitHub code spaces, we're going to need to do open in VS Code. Open. You will likely need to have the Gitpod VS Code extension installed before you do that. But now, you can do dfang login. Click that. Continue. And sweet. You're logged into dfang. dfang ls should work. There we go. And so we've got Dfang up and running in Gitpod. And we can just go ahead and stop that workspace when we're done. Awesome. I hope that helps you get up and running with Dfang faster in the cloud with your team. Happy building. Go deploy something awesome, folks. See ya.